Brazil. Right. So I want to talk about Brazil as an energy player on the global stage. It's one of the largest non-OPEC producers, around two and a half million barrels a day currently. So it's an increasingly significant player on the global market. Brazil is now Latin America's biggest producer and exporter. How does this shifting stage of energy politics play out for Brazil's leadership? So uh, 20, about 20 years ago, uh, Venezuela used to be a big player in, in Latin America in terms of uh, oil production. And of course, with all the issues that have, Venezuela has faced uh, on the political side, it has really affected its, its production. Um, and Brazil has been slowly taking over uh, this space left by Venezuela. And since 2007, with the discovery of the Brisal, then that has become, you know, an important thing for Brazil to continue developing and to fast track the development of, uh, of oil in Brazil. Brazil today is the biggest producer in Latin America and is the 10th oil producer in the world. So it has quite an important play in, in Latin America, but also in, uh, in the whole world, it starts becoming extremely relevant. The other thing is that uh, Brazil also consumes, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of its own production. Today is the seventh uh, largest consumer in oil. And that's mainly because Brazil is heavy on trucks, you know, right. for movements of goods. So Brazil does not use alternative transportation for moving goods around such a large country, such as train or shipments, you mm -hmm. know, uh, it really use, or ships, it really use, you know, a lot of uh, truck as transportation. So I think for, for Brazil in the future, also we expect to have a lot of gas production coming from the pre -stop. There is a lot of associated gas so the only way to produce that huge amount of oil that we have down there is also producing gas. So I think there is tremendous opportunity for Brazil to become an important gas player. So Brazil has mainly two alternatives. It can try to internalize a lot of its gas and use for transportation. It can also use for house consumption. We still have a limited amount of gas being used in Brazil for house consumption, especially in pipelines. It's mainly focused on, on, on the south of the country, southeast of the country. Uh, so we have some potential in there. Of course, industrial potential. And another major potential in my view is thermoelectric. Uh, we have a lot of thermoelectric in Brazil that is still used regular fuel today to run. And gas um, can be a great replacement in terms of efficiency in terms of reducing CO2 emissions. Uh, so that's internalizing. The alternative also for, for Brazil is to also invest in LNG plants and becoming an exporter of gas. 